Hey guys, uh, what's up? I'm going to be making a uh, tutorial today, a tech tutorial on, on how to download uh, a bunch of different fonts, basically any font you want, and um, then how to throw on every single uh, program <laughs> on your computer. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, get started. Um, the first program you're going to need to download um, is WinRAR. Um, that I will stick a uh, link to the description. Um, it's at rarlab.com slash download. Uh, like I said, the link will be in the description. Um, the top two um, are WinRAR. You download either the 32-bit or the 64. My PC is a 32-bit, so I downloaded that one. And um, over here, you see it says trial. This actually says trial, but you get to keep it forever. After it says your 40 days is up, you just push close, and um, you can use it forever. So, um, yeah, don't worry about that. So, um, download the one you need, and then you'll have WinRAR. And then we're going to go to a site called thefont.com. Um, this basically has a um, ton of different um, uh, fonts, stuff like that. Um, when you get to the first front page, um, you can see this here. And you can see this little fancy box here. And um, uh, there are a bunch of different weird random words. And they're actually, they're all genres a different kind of text. And actually, I'm going to show you this quick in a second. But if you scroll down, you can see some of the latest fonts that were actually added to the site. And um, almost every single font on this site is free. Um, every single one that I've ever had to use is free, but I think once in a while you will come across one that isn't. So basically, they're all free, but um, you may find one in uh, one here and there. But um, I'm actually gonna look in this box here that I was just talking about, and um, so many different things here. Um, you have like all the different genres of and uh, types of uh, text and stuff like that. And here I went to an old school, and here you can see some uh old school fonts they have and they have tons of pages like here there's at least four pages and um, all these are all free to download um you can tell because usually right here and right here this is from another site but i'm going to say free for personal use so you should say uh there one's just yeah that one's just there it says free um there's so many different fonts you have some um, let's go to uh roman greek some foreign look here um stuff like that poseidon um different fonts like that um, let's look. What would be another cool one to check out? Um, let's do Runes and Elvish. Uh, this is actually pretty sweet. This text is, I actually like these. Uh, if you watch Lord of the Rings, all the Elvish writing here, you can actually get it. So that's really sweet too. And basically, you can select any font you want. Um, but this site, there are actually other sites that you can go to and download fonts from. But this one, um, I'm going to show you in a second how to, uh, download and stuff like that. And um, that this site really is the best. Um, but I have actually used this site for a very long time. Back in the day, it was probably three years ago, maybe two or three years ago, I actually used to make uh, signatures for forums. And if you know that, it's a little, uh, little, usually they're about like 400 by 120, little picture thing um, right below in the, their signature that showed a little picture of the name and little fancy artwork stuff. Um, I actually had a shop where people came in on the forum and um, uh, asked for me to make something for them. And I'd make it for free. And um, I had an 107-page shop. Um, and eventually, I actually ended it. But I had people working under me who would actually help make uh, a bunch of the uh, signatures for people, avatars, uh, pips for uh, forums, other forums, stuff like that. So I, I used to do a whole lot of that stuff. And um, I always use this site. And uh, the, these fonts are highly recommended. So let's actually go and find one right now. And I'm going to show you how to download it. Let's go into Fire and Ice because Fire and Ice is always cool. Uh, and find one that looks pretty sweet. Um, I'm actually going to go with... Huh, which one should we go? We'll go with Ice Caps. And uh, here you can see is a free download. Um, so all I'm going to do here is basically download. And um, it's going to pop a little box. My Firefox one looks like this. And um, it needs to open with WinRAR. All these text fa uh, files are zipped up in a folder. So you need to unzip them, and that's what WinRAR does. So you want to get it so it's going to open with WinRAR. If it doesn't automatically show up, you're going to have to go in and find it in your program files and stuff like that. So you push OK. It's then going to open up in your WinRAR. And you're going to find the uh, file, the text file. It's usually going to say true type font file. You're going to click on that. And usually it's .ttf, and you're going to push extract to. You're going to take this font, and right here, all you're going to do is just push desktop. Desktop is the easiest place to put it because it'll be right on your desktop, and you can find it right away. So I'm going to extract it to my desktop. And um, there's 
the, uh, you used to do it the hard way, which there is actually new and uh, now a new way with this site that is a whole lot better. And um, that is, let me go to the front page and show you quick. Um, a spiffy little thing right here, and I actually might copy and paste this and put it into the uh, description. But um, all you have to do, based with Windows XP, well, window if you still have Windows XP, you're gonna have to go into your C Windows and Fonts. You're actually gonna go into your Font folder, which I'll show you how to get into that. Uh, Vista, that's a bit different, so it's harder to find. And um, if you're a Vista, all you have to do is right-click the file and push and install, which I'll show you. Mac, you double-click the font file and then you install it. But um, this is right here. You can actually read this real quick. I've actually had this up for a bit. So if you want to pause the video, you can pause it now. Read that. I'll show you. But I'm going to show you that and the other way to do it. So let's go to my desktop. And um, my font is right here. And these are actually two fonts I had before. Urban Army thing. And then this is a Freak Out Go Bananas. Um, so I am on Vista. So basically I'm on Vista. All I have to do is right click this and push install. A little thing like this pops up. All I have to do is push continue. Wait for it to load. There we go. It's already downloaded. I now have ice caps. Um, I can then go into a uh, Microsoft Word 2007. Wait for it to boot up. My font is called. What's it called again? Ice caps. So I'm going to go here. Put this big so you guys can see it. Uh, we're going to go all the way down to I. Whoa, I really passed that. Oh, yeah, here you go, right here, ice caps. And um, you can do this, this most works for most other programs too, like if you GIMP or Adobe Photoshop or um, maybe if you have a Sony Vegas or whatever else fonts, uh, it will work with that. So here I'm going to say something cool. Oh, there we, oops, we actually lost ice caps. So let's get this again. Oh, I don't know why, like, ice caps keeps leaving me. I'm not sure why. I wonder if it's because I, I did it, it might not work with, there we go. So there you go, you actually see the font does work inside of Microsoft Word, and it will work in Sony Vegas, usually GIMP, Adobe Photoshop, all your other programs, it's now in your Windows folder to open up with every single thing. Now, the other way to do it, um, you have to go into Start, you then go to your computer, which is, and then, Go into local disk, which is C. Now, usually, from here, you're either, with your Windows XP, you're either going to go, you usually go into Windows, and then you're going to find fonts, which is right here. Um, that's we'll go back. It's, you can see it. Windows is usually be near the bottom. You go to that, and fonts is right here. You go into your fonts folder, and this is going to show you all the fonts that are already in here. Um, I'm not going to go with Mac because I don't have Mac. And basically, to get in, all you have to do is right-click it, uh, copy, or you can do Control-C, go into your fonts fo folder, right, oh, then you get to the side, right-click it, if I can. Well, I'm just, and we can do Control-V when you get into your fonts folder. Just do Control-V, and then basically it will go and download it into your fonts folder. That's if you have Windows XP. Mac, all you have to do is double click it, then install it. Um, so that's how to download and put your fonts on the computer. So you can use it basically with any program that you have. So I just want to thank you guys very much for watching. If you have any questions, please message me, leave a comment, and I'll get back to you and help you. Also, like I said, please make sure to subscribe. It really helps me out. Get to see all my new videos, and that is really sweet. So do it. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to get going. So uh, thank you very much for watching again. Um, take care, and I'll see you guys soon.